Okay, I'm pretty sure it's knockoff time again. If it's not, it's going to be anyway, because that's what I'm going to review. And we're going to review this. <coughs> Some of you might go, huh, I know what that is. Some of you might be like, what's that? Well, this is a very weird knockoff of the smaller G2 Megatron. I don't know if it's based off the smaller G2 Megatron, but this is kind of a deluxe-ish scale. I'll do a size comparison in a second. And, um, yeah, it's one of those figures that had an issue with it. Like, I, I got it second-hand. It had an issue with it, and I've only recently fixed it, so that's why you haven't seen it before. But uh, it's a nice enough thing. It's quite pretty colours. Yeah, I imagine, apart from the giant grey turret, that's quite, you know, camouflaged, even with the paint there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's got 390 on the side. Is that the type of tank? I don't know. It's got these uh, stickers on the front here, which... I don't know, does it make it look like a face? With weird eyelashes? I don't know. It's a bit weird. Uh, other than that... It's quite a straightforward little figure. We'll get a size comparison in for you. That's Siege Impactor with the upgrade kit. So... Deluxe. And in case anyone's going to ask, no, the turret doesn't move, doesn't do anything. Doesn't turn, doesn't do anything. Sorry. Okay, so we should transform it, really. I guess we should. So, what we're going to do is... Where to start? See, this was damaged. That's why I've not been able to review it before now, and I've put a lot of messing around and playing with it, and I've slightly broken it a little to get it to the point where I can do what it needs to do. And there's stuff stuck in the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I should really clean these things up more before I do a review. But it's the joy of having long nails. All right. Ah, oh, let's just do it. We're gonna fold the side pieces out. Because they should just fold straight out. Don't start fighting with me now. There you go. Fold that out. Fold that out. Take the tank uh, turret. And you see that slider there? Slide it all the way over. Okay. And now we're going to get the back section and extend. There you go. Rotate it down. Rotate the arm down. Turn it. Slide the fist out, rotate it down, turn the elbow, slide the fist out, there you go. All cheap and nasty sliders, wonky as anything, okay. Uh, rotate the toe flaps up, okay. And we get this little panel here and we flip it through to reveal the head. Oh, and something I didn't mention on the vehicle mode, because frankly I forgot. For some reason he's got a little mouth with a tongue. So I guess these are supposed to be eyes. Bleh, om, 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 om. Honestly, I've no idea. Head doesn't turn, but sort of wiggles a little bit, so yeah, that's the thing. And there he is, in robot mode. Let's hand this up ever so gently. Maybe bring it up a bit. There we go. But he's nice, he's cool. Uh, arms. <coughs> Just about go all the way around. Uh, when this turns, it sticks down further than the rest of the arm. So if you turn it that way, it'll go all the way around. But if you turn it so he's actually you know, trying to bend his elbow, it actually catches on its own body. This side's worse, I think. I don't know, that one works okay. Now, what was damaged on this was the slider inside here, uh, the sliding mechanism, it was locked. The uh, teeth on side here, which have got little, there's a little grip on the inside of these panels here, and it was a nice solid lump. And then there were teeth inside here that it was sort of ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk, drop into, like a, like that. So you got your thing, and you pull it, and it goes ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk. yeah. Into one, into two, into three, and that's how it locks into place. These were massive, this was massive, and it was basically locked, and you couldn't move it. 
So I had to file that down so it's a lot smaller, file these down so they're a lot smaller, and now it will just about go. Uh, in doing that, I've kind of uh, broken this a little bit, but it, it still works, it's fine. And whoever had this before me, because again, second to hand, the, this swivel is a mushroom peg. Half of that is snapped off. I assume the half that was attached to this piece. So someone's opened this up and played with it, unless it's... No, I don't think it's inside there. I could open it up and have a look, but I don't think it is. Uh, might be, you never know. But yeah, someone's someone broke this, so I'm very cautious with the, the pull in this, because it's only got half a mushroom peg hold in it. I should really open that up and see if the peg's in there. Because if it is, I'll just glue it together and jobs are good. But he works. Swivel, toes will wiggle a little bit if you're so inclined. Uh, elbow, arms, nothing, nothing. Elbow swivel for transformation. Head does nothing. Yeah, a little bit of a, a weird angle cut off the back of it for the transformation so it doesn't get in the way. Which I think is quite funny. Uh, yeah, size comparison. King, uh, Earthrise, there you go, Earthrise Grapple. So he's actually Voyager. That's, yeah. I mean, if I bring a little Siege Impactor here, he can back, uh, 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 he can pack down a lot, but there again, Grapple's not the tallest deluxe in the world, uh, Voyager in the world, so I don't know what scale he is. Honestly, not sure. But there you have it, that's a weird little KO for you. I'm going to put him back into tank mode so I can play with this mouth. Hang on. You know, because I'm an adult and I can do these things. These elbows aren't the nicest things in the world. If I opened them up and tidied them up, it'd probably be a bit better. But, frankly, I'm just happy i got the legs working. I'm not going to mess around too much with it. Toes. Toes. Push. There you go. Okay, so we drive around and go, Bleh! Actually, you can't, because then he'd be sitting above the tracks. Look. Bleh! Hello, and welcome to Ugly Wretch's YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I have a big nose. Blah. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know either. <sighs> it's a weird one, but that's the joys of knockoffs. You get some really weird things. Like, what? Why has it got a mouth and a tongue? Like, if it didn't have the tongue and the jagged edges, I'd go, oh, it's some kind of, like, a storage area. That's cool. That's a... No, no, it's it's got a tongue. You know, it's off the thing. It's curved up. It's round. It, it's a tongue. I I got nothing for you. Sorry, kids. I, I don't know. See, I know there was an official like this. Um, there's a little purple G2 Megatron. And there was a, a later one that was called Reverse Convoy, where it had the head that flipped out that was Optimus on Megatron, can't remember which way around. And then the size of the gun, there was another head, so basically it could have one of either head. That's cool, never got hold of it, but you know. Weird figure. Anyway, before it hits the 10 minute mark and people think I'm just stolen to try and get ads, which I haven't got enabled, I'm going to scarper. So... I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye!